Hi everybody, my name is Adam and I like tabletop gaming. Um, today I wanted to show you a little bit about this game, Cartooner. Uh, Cartooner is a drawing game, much in the family of, say, Pictionary. Um, but the premise of the game is you are a cartoonist and you are trying to stay up to date with all of the latest trends and draw comics uh, based on interesting characters and scenarios. Um, the entire game is included in this box. Um, it, it, it's not raunchy at all. It is appropriate for all ages, but some of the themes uh, might be beyond the grasp of, say, an 8, 9, or 10-year-old. Um, probably around 13 is where this game starts to get good, especially if they like to draw. This game does have a fairly uh, limited uh, player base who would be interested in it. Not everybody likes to draw, although they do, do tell you you don't need to know how to draw, and uh, given the way the game runs, most people end up drawing stick figures anyway, because it's less about the quality of the illustration and more about uh, how you're composing everything to make the story to, to get your point across. Uh, the game comes with theme cards. Uh, theme cards will give you uh, each player the... Uh, the subjects that they're supposed to draw. Um, and so everybody would have three theme cards. And in this case, we have pollution, obnoxious coworkers or bosses, and deadly viruses or diseases. And so uh, this player would somehow need to cram into their comic uh, pollution, deadly viruses or diseases, and obnoxious coworkers or bosses. As the rounds progress, uh, you begin to add things like trends. Um, trends can include, oh, a happy ending, uh, or funny animals, and the trend cards give you ways to gain more points. Um, there's a total of four rounds, and you earn points based uh, on these fame tokens. Uh, so every theme that you're able to include will give you a point of fame. Um, every time you obey a rule, like don't use more than three speech bubbles, you get some more fame points as well. And the trend cards give you criteria to meet to earn even extra bonus fame. Uh, the game also comes with uh, its drawing pad. Um, here, round one, two panels. Round two, four panels. Round three, six panels. And the final round is an eight-panel beast. The way to make this game easier or harder is to change the time limit. The rule book recommends that you start at eight minutes to make it easy and five minutes to make it difficult. I'd go on to say, though, if eight minutes isn't, doesn't feel like enough for you, uh, you guys can feel free to increase that to what you feel is necessary at home. Um, we'll show you how to play in a little bit, but, um, cartooner, I like to draw, I like to doodle, um, I like to draw with my partner and my family at home, um, and so this was fun for me and would be fun for us. Um, you can pick cartooner up on your local gaming store, um, or online, and, uh, it's, it's a good buy. Um, I would, however, uh, go ahead and get a stack of paper for yourselves as well, because if you're going to be playing it a lot... This isn't nearly enough.